Doc, I enjoy your lectures very much. You have always taken a stand that no established fact of science has ever contradicted a statement of the Bible. I have been enriched much by your systematic answers to the questions raised by your audience. Today two of us would like to ask you questions of a more historical nature. Dr. Philip, I have been studying the relation between Bible and science with great interest. I have been discussing many of your statements with Sam. Both of us would like to know if any prominent scientists ever believed in the Bible. That is a good question Ann and Sam. In fact every Christian should ask this question. The more you know about the pioneers of sciences, the more your faith will be strengthened. Let me begin with Sir Tim Berners-Lee the father of the World Wide Web which we usually call the Internet. Science and technology would not have grown explosively if he had not invented the Internet. He was in an atheist but in his adult life he searched for a church, became an active member, and brought up his children in the nurture that the church offered to them. Nicolaus Copernicus born in 1473 was a mathematician and astronomer who formulated a model of the planets with the sign at the center. He faced much opposition but today everyone accepts the heliocentric model. This allowed astronomy to grow fast. He was a strong believer in the Bible. Francis Bacon born in 1561 is considered among the fathers of the scientific method. This method bases deductions upon multiple experiments, observations, statistical calculation, and repetition by others. It is the scientific method that brought present-day revolution in science and technology. Bacon was a strong believer in God and the Bible. Blaise Passel who was born in 1623 was an eminent scientist who gave birth to Passel's law in physics and Passel's theorem in mathematics. He was also an ardent theologian. Everyone knows the name of Galileo Galilei who was born in 1564. He was an Italian astronomer, physicist, engineer, philosopher, and mathematician. He played a major role in the modern scientific revolution. He was a devout believer in the Bible. The more we study the life of pioneers, the more we find that most of them were Bible-believing people. Everyone has heard about Kepler. Johannes Kepler was born in 1571. He is a well-known astronomer of the scientific revolution. He discovered Kepler's laws of planetary motion. He was a strong believer in the Bible. In school science textbooks everyone studies about Robert Boyle and the Boyle's Law. Born in 1627, he was a prominent scientist and theologian who argued that the study of science could improve glorification of God. A strong Christian apologist, he stands as one of the most important figures in the history of chemistry. Isaac Newton is such an important figure in modern science that his name has become equivalent to modern science. Born in 1643, he was the most prominent scientist during the modern scientific revolution. He discovered the laws of gravity which helped modern astronomy, artificial satellites, and space travel. He was devoted to the Bible, and wrote many Bible commentaries. Also, he did much research in the chronology found in the Bible. We are not finished yet. There are many more pioneers. Gottfried Leibniz born in 1646 was one of the most eminent mathematicians. Leibniz theorem is part of higher mathematics even today. After him comes Antoine Lavoisier born in 1743. Every chemistry student has heard the name of this pioneer. He discovered the role of oxygen in combustion, developed chemical nomenclature, developed a preliminary periodic table of elements, and proposed the most important law of conservation of mass. Then let me introduce Carl Linnaeus born in 1707. Every biology student knows his name because this botanist, physician, and zoologist, was also the father of modern taxonomy. All three of these pioneers were devout Christians and believers in the Bible. They all lived in the 18th century. Now I will ask my good friend and co-worker Dr. James to introduce some pioneers of science who lived in the 19th century. Hello. I am Dr. James, and thank you very much Dr. Philip for this opportunity to speak about Bible-believing scientists from the 19th century. Their numbers is very high, and so I will present only selected persons. Every science student has heard the name of the great Joseph Priestley born in 1733. He discovered oxygen, and that transformed chemistry and chemical industry. He had many reservations about the Christianity of his times, but he himself was a strong believer in God. The next one in my list of 19th century pioneers of science is Alessandro Volta, who was born in 1745. He discovered the electric battery and did pioneering work in electricity. That is why volts. The unit of electric potential is still with us, derived from his name. 
He was devoted to God and to the Bible. Now comes the famous John Dalton born in 1766. Everyone has heard of the Dalton's atomic theory proposed by him. This theory was the foundation for modern chemistry, physical chemistry, and even the periodic table. He was a devout Christian. Every biology student has heard the name of George Cuvier, who was born in 1769. A man of great attainment, this French naturalist and zoologist is known today as the father of paleontology or fossil sciences. Paleontology is such an important science that it allowed zoology and botany to grow explosively in the centuries after him. Then comes André Marie Ampere born in 1775. He was one of the founders of classical electromagnetism. His contributions were so great that the unit for electric current, Ampere, is named after him. Then comes the great scientist Michael Faraday born in 1791. His name is widely known among science students. He was a great chemist and physicist, established electrolysis and also the highly important electromagnetic theory. All three of these great scientists were devoted Christians and believers in God. Now let me come to another three very famous men of science. The first is Charles Babbage born in 1791. This mathematical genius was the first to introduce the idea of a programmable computer. He even made sketches, but technology was not available in his time to fabricate them fully. However, the idea of programmable computers stuck, and today we know what miracles it has done. James Clerk Maxwell born in 1831 was so eminent that he needs no introduction today. His equations of electrodynamics have transformed science and technology. He made many more pioneering contributions in physics. Then there's Gregor Mendel born in 1822. He was an Augustinian abbot who pioneered modern modern genetics. His work was so much advanced for his times that it was ignored for decades, setting the clock of science behind with that many decades or more. All three of these men were devout Christians and believers in the Bible. With this I will hand over the discussion back to Dr. Philip. Before I pick up a few 20th century scientists who believed in the Bible, let me tell you both a very interesting fact. According to a 100-year review of Nobel Prizes award between 1901 and 2000 a full 65.4% of Nobel Prizes laureates have identified Christianity as their religious preference. Overall, Christians have won a total of 72.5% of all the Nobel Prizes in chemistry, 65.3% in physics, 62% in medicine and 54% in economics. This itself shows what an impact the Christian faith has made upon top scientists. The 20th century produced so many pioneer Christian scientists that listing them all is an impossible task, so I will mention only a few. Everyone knows the name of the Lord Kelvin. His work in physics was so fundamental that today we honor him by using his name for temperature. He was deeply interested in Christian apologetics, and was a member of the Christian Evidence Society. Sir J. J. Thompson's name is known to everyone who has studied the structure of the atom. He did pioneering work in studying the atom and was awarded the 1906 Nobel Prize in Physics. He was a devout Christian and believer in God. All kind of scanning known to us today started with the discovery of X-rays by Wilhelm Röntgen. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for this discovery. He too was a believer in God and a devout Christian. As I said in the last segment, the number of pioneer scientists who were devout Christians is very high in the last two centuries. It is impossible to list them all. So I will list three more and leave it to you to explore more. Everyone has heard about Guglielmo Marconi the inventor or radio communication. He shared the 1909 Nobel Prize for his discoveries. Sir John Ambrose Fleming was a pioneer in electronics, and technology would not have reached the present levels without his inventions. Of course, almost everyone has heard the name of Werner Heisenberg. He was given the Nobel Prize for his pioneering work in quantum physics. All three of these pioneers of science and technology were devout Christians, and spoke openly about their Christian faith. As I said, the list of pioneer scientists who were also Christians and believers in the Bible is practically endless. Out of them I selected a few well-known scientists to show to every inquisitive person that belief in the Bible and pioneering work in science are not in conflict. If you feel this history of more than two dozen pioneer scientists is not sufficient to satisfy you, then I suggest that you do a search on the internet and you will find hundreds of detailed stories. 
Let me also remind you that no established fact of science has ever contradicted any statement of the Bible and not statement of the Bible has contradicted any established fact of science.